Nan Rose had been hired uh, to do that show. I had gotten into 705, the costume uh, department, the union, and uh, she hired me as the set person uh, to take care of the actors on set. And I did that for two years. Nan left the show and uh, for whatever reason, Larry Hagman and Patrick Duffy were huge advocates of mine. I'd be sitting on set sketching them and you know, pay, really paying attention, and which I think was my job actually, but they were impressed by <laughs> how much attention I paid to them. And they went to, actually, I can't believe they did this for me. They went to Lenny Katzman, who was the producer, the overseeing producer of Dallas, that, the show, and uh, said, you should hire that kid give her a chance. And now this was in the waning years of that show. So I grew up watching it as a child, you know, so exactly. it was, it. And, and Larry was still the biggest star in the world at the time. Um, JR, you know, that whole who killed JR. Um, and uh, yeah, they, and Lenny said, well, I'll give her a chance. I mean, it's unbelievable to me. I don't think that would happen now. It was a really different time back then. So you, that was just, even though the shows were big, there were only two set people and two people uh, designing the show. So it was uh, basically, I was in charge of dressing and finding costumes for all the women on the show at that time. So Linda Gray, uh, Priscilla Presley left two years before she was gone from the show. Barbara Belgettis was still there. Costume designers back then tended to do features. Mm -hmm. and costume supervisors did television. Unless you were a big name designer, like for instance, Trevia had been on Dallas previously, but they would hire these big, big name feature mm -hmm. uh, designers to come in and set the looks of shows. But then after that, it was usually costume supervisors who did the shows. It was a big jump, to be honest. And I do, I, I think, you know, I think I've mentioned this story before, but Agnes Henry was the costume supervisor on um, Nuts Landing. And we were in the same, they call it the snake pit, the old MGM snake pit, which is the basement at MGM was where the costume department was. Um, and up above that is the dance floor where the, all the musicals were rehearsed. So, you know, you could hear people walking because it's this, sprung floor it's where you know fred astaire and gene kelly would practice their dances which i think is amazing it's still there um and i you know i was struggling i i knew how to take care of the actors i thought i had a decent level of taste i knew where to get the costumes you know obviously it was very high-end fashion show so a lot of shopping at neiman's and Saks and rodeo but in terms of the budgeting and how to manage the money, Agnes really helped me a lot. She instructed me, she was like, no, do it this way. And I knew how to break down a script because I'd been on set mm -hmm. and I knew how to manage the day night breakdown of a TV show. Um, but anyway, I was a quick study. By the end of the first year, I had it. 